Okay, well folks, here we are with the, uh, the next instalment. Uh, this is combining my two projects into one here. This is my off-grid system, which ultimately won't be at this location. It will be at a different location, obviously, where uh, internet and power are not uh, readily available. But I'm just testing the unit uh, here at uh, my home residence on the mast that will eventually have my uh, have my antenna on it and uh, in the last video uh, I was just I was pointing out that up underneath here is actually where I will be housing my hotspot in a uh, an appropriate uh, weatherproof um, uh, container or uh, or cabinet uh, I did and I still may uh, actually experiment with putting it at the top of the mast uh, but the more I've thought about it I'm going to experiment and see what it's like with the slightly easier wind by having the unit at the base of the pole uh, plus that way it is being shaded uh, by the uh, building here uh, so keeping it cool will be a whole lot easier but anyway I just thought I would do a quick video of what I have put together here with my uh, off-grid system. Uh, now this is still a proof of concept. Uh, I'm not an electrician nor am I uh, an expert in solar so fumbling my way through these. Uh, up there we've got a Rinnergy uh, 100 watt solar panel uh, mounted onto a Rinnergy uh, pole mounting bracket uh, now let's come up and have a look at my indoor, or rather my my outdoor unit here. Uh, this is a weatherproof box. I've actually shown this on a previous video. Um, unfortunately, my miner, <laughs> my hotspot, is still an improvised unit at this point. Uh, so my Nebra Nebra indoor unit will ultimately go there. Uh, okay, we've got the solar controller over here. So solar is coming from down there, down the cable, uh, into the solar controller. Um, and then that feeds uh, into the battery. Uh, over on this side of the unit is my 4G modem. Now, whilst uh, there is a good chance that there will be internet available at the location where I host my units, uh, I was, or my aim here was to create a completely self-sufficient uh, setup that can be housed totally remote uh, or at a host's location uh, but it then means that I don't have to bother them for internet or power and the likes. All I need to do is essentially mount this unit, the solar panel, antenna on the top uh, is, uh, is mount that in the backyard. It would only be on a two to three metre mast depending on specifics. Okay, so my, uh, my battery there. Uh, once again, until I get my Nebra unit, I can't be absolutely certain of the um, capacity of the battery and the solar panel, etc. Uh, but where I am in here in Queensland, we do get an enormous amount of uh, sun. Uh, we're in the middle of our, well, we're not quite in the middle of our winter, uh, but we're definitely in our shorter days uh, at the moment, and there is still ample, ample sun. Uh, my 4G here, Excuse me, I slip and slide on the roof here. Uh, this is just a 4G Wi-Fi uh, unit that I will be looking to uh, connect the uh, the hotspot to, uh, and that's where it will get its internet coverage from. Uh, I may find that once I get my miner and I start actually experimenting that I come up with challenges that I haven't foreseen at this point. Uh, at this stage, given that my hotspot is still at the very least um, a month away and most likely two months away all I can do at this point is keep trying to keep myself busy in the meantime and experiment as much as I can uh, so this unit here is actually a lockable assembly uh, I've been told by one of uh, my fellow Australians who viewed my earlier video uh, that this locking assembly can be swapped out with a key lock assembly so that's what I will be doing with that um, if you may notice down the bottom that there is uh, vent holes down here uh, ultimately what I will be doing because I'm still not entirely certain of the heat build up inside this cabinet yet is to place a fan down in here a 12 volt fan uh, incidentally, uh, this unit here has its uh, 5 volt 2 amp um, 
uh, or rather its, its, its output and I believe that I can run my Nebra unit straight, uh, straight, from, straight from there. Uh, I may find out that that's incorrect, but uh, I'll sort that out as we as we go. The worst case scenario is that I would need to put some form of inverter in along the wall here to uh, create the correct um, output that I'm wanting. I'm still a little confused here between the various hotspots because uh, I know the rack have a different uh, take a different power to um, uh, to the Nebra, or at least I believe they do. So anyway, we'll figure that out as uh, as we roll along. But there we go, uh, it is a concept item at the moment. I'm going to leave that up there just as it is for a, a couple of days and uh, just sort of monitor how we go um, solar and uh, well, there's very little draw on the, on the battery at the moment. The only thing being powered from the battery is my modem uh, and the battery controller itself. So. There won't be any issue with it going flat at this point, um, but at least I can just ensure that everything is running as it is right now. So there we go. Uh, there is the next instalment. Just thought I'd show a, uh, a quick one to add it to the video that I displayed earlier on today. Okay, guys, helium down under. Ian, g'day from uh, the great, great land down under. Cheers.